Google just released their new cybersecurity professional certificate, so we're gonna talk about that in today's video. Before we begin, it is important to note that this video is sponsored by Coursera. They reached out to me and asked me if I could provide my genuine, authentic feedback about this new certificate, and I thought, well, why not? Let's see what we can come up with. So let's break this course down and uh, see what we come up with. I've talked about Google certificates before, and there's really no denying the fact that the information that they're going to learn by going through their programs is going to be valuable for you. So let's look at the eight courses that make up the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. One important thing to note about these eight courses is that they are a mix between video and text, and they also do include a lot of quizzes as well, which I think are always a great benefit to have. The first course is the Foundations of Cybersecurity, which does a great job, I think, of laying down a lot of the foundations within the cybersecurity realm, and that is 13 hours of material there. What I think is important here that you're going to learn is this core skills and the knowledge that's needed to become a cybersecurity professional. And you'll identify how security attacks impact businesses, you'll learn how to explain security ethics, and you'll identify common tools that are used by cybersecurity professionals as well. The next course is Play It Safe, which is managing security risks, and that course is 12 hours long. You'll learn more about security frameworks, you'll learn about SIM tools, which is security information event management tools, and you'll also learn how to utilize playbooks to respond to threats, risks, and vulnerabilities. I really love that section. I think it's uh, actually a really fun section. The next course is Connect and Protect, which covers networks and network security. That course is 14 hours long. You'll learn about some of the different fundamentals of networking and the different components. You'll learn how data is sent and received over networks. You'll understand how to secure a network against different types of tactics. And you'll also learn about system hardening techniques. In the next section, Tools of the Trade, you learn more about Linux and SQL, and Linux is such a valuable skill to be learning. That section is 25 hours long, and you'll be, of course, learning more about the fundamentals of Linux and the command line and Bash. And then, of course, you'll learn more about SQL and databases, which those are very valuable skills to have as well. The next section is Asset, Threats, and Vulnerabilities, and that is 21 hours long. You'll learn how to classify assets, you'll learn how to analyze attack surfaces to find risks and vulnerabilities, and identify threats like social engineering, malware, and web-based exploits. And of course, you'll be able to summarize the threat modeling process that's involved with all of this as well. If you're interested in learning about the different types of threats and vulnerabilities, that is actually a really fun section to go through. So you'll definitely have fun in that section when you get to it. The next course is Sound the Alarm, which is detection and response, and that is 21 hours long. You'll learn to understand the basic syntax components of signatures and logs and intrusion detection systems and network intrusion detection systems tools. You'll also perform queries in security information and event management system tools to investigate an event. And that section is also a lot of fun too, because you're learning how to respond to some of these different incidents as they would happen in an environment. There's very important concepts and methodologies involved there when some type of security event happens in an environment. And the fact that they're teaching you all the different concepts and methodologies involved in responding to these threats. So kudos to them for putting this all together the way that they have so far. And the next course is Automate Cybersecurity tasks with Python, and that is 27 hours long. And this might be my favorite course out of all of them, because I think Python is such a valuable skill to be learning nowadays, and learning how to automate things is going to come in clutch for you so much. And the fact that they're teaching you the fundamentals of Python and tying that all together with what we've learned so far to automate some of the things that we've learned so far, I think that's phenomenal in how they developed and delivered this course. So just to expand upon that, what you're gonna learn in the course is kind of the fundamentals of Python and how that's used in cybersecurity. You'll learn about some of the different functions and expressions, and then of course, how that kind of gets tied together in automating some tasks within some of your duties in an entry-level cybersecurity role. Now, this last section might actually be my absolute favorite. This is put it to work prepare for cybersecurity jobs. And this is 15 hours long. And it starts off where you determine when and how to escalate a security incident. And then it kind of dives into a little bit of like a different way, because then it talks about engaging with the cybersecurity community and finding and applying for cybersecurity jobs and preparing for job interviews. And all of that information, those last three bullet points, I cannot stress to you enough how excited I am to see that being listed as part of this course, because that information that you're going to learn, especially in the interview section, they go over the STAR method, which is phenomenal, 
but they're teaching you kind of the soft skills and communication skills that it takes to become an IT professional or even a cybersecurity professional. And those skills are not often covered enough. So I'm very happy and excited to see that as part of this course as well. Those eight courses are over 140 hours and they make up what it takes to achieve the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Now I wanna highlight four things that really stood out to me in the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate program because these things I think really made a big difference. As we get through these four points, I'm then gonna kind of summarize why I thought these four points were important because as I went through these courses, it really kind of made sense to me where this certificate was going and who it would be best suited for. So the first point that I wanna bring up is that I love that they were teaching you about Splunk and SIM system. That's the Security Information Event Management Systems. I think that's absolutely like pivotal to be learning right now as you're getting into the world of cybersecurity. And that's because those types of tools are always gonna be utilized in any type of entry-level cybersecurity role. And it'll be really important for you to understand how to read logs. I cannot express that enough. And number two is actually kind of just expanding a little bit more on number one, because I love that while they're introducing you to the fundamentals of cybersecurity, they like seamlessly introduce this flow of, you know, it's, it's the fundamentals plus the frameworks, plus the sims, plus, you know, the log analysis, plus managing risks and incident response. And I just thought this was an excellent way to pull all of this content together because I'm looking at this from a perspective of someone who's coming into this program who has no prior cybersecurity knowledge or experience or, or understanding of how uh, this, the cybersecurity industry operates. So when I look at it from that perspective and when I'm understanding how all of this content was put together and how it was delivered, it really makes sense who it was delivered for. And they did a phenomenal job of doing that. Like, I'm not going to lie. Number three is that I loved within the platform itself, you have the ability to keep more accountability and you can keep track of what you're doing. And it often notifies you and, and kind of like, you know, pesters you a little bit, which is very, very helpful, but it, it is keeping you accountable. It is reminding you of what you need to do. It is trying to keep you on track to complete this program. And I think that is something that is very needed because you often need those little kind of reminders that, hey, you need to be working on this right now, or this is what's next, or plan for this, right? Those types of thinking and, and those types of um, kind of reminders, I think can be helpful in your learning process as well, because those are the types of things that you can actually implement in your day-to-day -day life as you're working out in the industry as well. Set little reminders for you here and there. Hey, do this, or hey, you have X amount of time to complete this task or project. So seeing things like that, I, I think is just very valuable in the learning process as a whole. And the last point that I wanna talk about is actually the last section of the course. And that's actually a little bit more focused on you know, soft skills and as they apply to a cybersecurity professional. And I thought that was really a great addition to be honest with you. So going over that STAR method again and going over you know the interview process, very valuable. Talking about the community, like these are things that I've talked about here on this channel before and that I cannot advocate enough for. So seeing that introduced as part of this program is really excellent to see because there's not enough focus on these soft skills. So kudos to them for introducing that into this program as well. So those were the four things that stood out to me the most. From what I can tell going through, it is very much geared towards somebody who is looking for an entry-level cybersecurity role. More specifically, somebody who'd be looking at like a SOC analyst type of position. I can see how this would be very, very well aligned with a position like that. So the skills, the knowledge, and the methodologies that you learn, I think very much align with a position like that and other types of entry-level cybersecurity positions. But a position like a SOC analyst would definitely be ideal after going through this course. But I don't want you to feel like you're siloed within that SOC analyst type of position. I think there's a lot of information that you learn in this course that introduce you to other areas within cybersecurity, and that can help you kind of gauge your interest towards where you want to go next in your career. So learning this information can also kind of help propel you into an area that you want to focus in more. And I think learning that information is always going to be valuable for you. And really that's where I think this program is most valuable. The purpose is to help you learn about the fundamentals of technologies and methodologies and, and how that makes up the world of cybersecurity. And you don't need any prior experience or knowledge to get started. Everything is delivered in a way that 
everyone can understand. And they say that the program will take about six months to complete if you dedicate seven hours a week. And it, but it's all 100% online and self-paced, so you could move through it much quicker if you wanted to. So keep that in mind. And I can also tell you from going over all the different courses that the quality of material was actually really good. And the whole production quality was really good. It was very well put together. And I actually really enjoyed the instructor's presentations. I thought that they did a really good job. They were very engaging and I kind of, you know, felt like I connected with them somewhat. So they did an excellent job there as well, in my opinion. So overall, I thought the information that they delivered in this course was very valuable. It actually applied to the real world. It was delivered in a way that I think makes sense to entry-level cybersecurity role. So if you're someone who's looking to get started in a new career in cybersecurity, the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate would be an excellent starting path for you. So if you're ready to get started, you can sign up today for a seven-day free trial of the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. And after that seven days, it's only $49 a month, which is really affordable. So definitely check that out. You can find a link in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed this video today. I thought it was useful. I learned some things from it and I enjoyed it. So as always, take it easy.